In today's video, Rhonda is sharing her pantry organization and also an update to her breakfast nook. If it's something you think you're interested in, please keep watching. <laughs> Hey friends and welcome back to the channel. Now over the past week or so, I have been spending a lot of time working on my kitchen organization. So I knew that I wanted some drawer dividers and they were kind of expensive. Well, not really, but you know, I am now Rhonda the Renovator. So I looked at the ones online and I said, you know what? I think I can make me some. So I went to the Home Depot and I got me some wood. Now it is a quarter inch thick and it is three inches wide and it is just perfect for what I wanted to do here at my coffee station. Now I can't remember if this board actually came three feet long or if it was a four foot long board. But anyway, it cost me just a little bit under $5. And so here I am just trying to make sure that everything is fitting well. And then I had my husband take the staple gun or the nail gun and nail it. I want to make sure that it is going to be secure and it is going to stay, you know, stay well put in the drawer. <music> We're going to head back into the house and put it into the drawer and voila y'all it was perfect here i ended up going to the hobby lobby and i found these cute little boxes and they were only three dollars and 99 cents they have some cute little things in that wood pile collection y'all should check it out next time you go to the hobby lobby and here it is here is my kitchen coffee station organization here in the first drawer on the left side, I have all of my coffee K cups. Then in the middle, you'll see those are my hot chocolate. I love hot chocolate. I was always a hot chocolate girl, but recently I'm more coffee. In that first box, I have my sugar packets. And then over here in the second box, my little 3 dollars boxes, y'all, that I didn't even paint, left them just as they were. I keep my tea bags there. And up above, you'll see that I have some extra coffee stirrers just in case I need it, my little gold spoons. Then we move to, oh my gosh, this is like one of my favorite spaces in my kitchen. It is my kitchen towel drawer. Y'all know I've told you before that I am obsessed with kitchen towels and let me show y'all my latest ones. I just got these the other day at uh, Hobby Lobby, a part of the spring shop, so they were half off. And they are just too, too, too cute. And I can't wait to be able to use them here in the kitchen. But yes, this is one of my favorite drawers. And as you can see, I am full. So I've said that I'm not gonna buy any more, but y'all don't hold me to it. Now every kitchen or my kitchen, I know my crew around here, we have to have a junk drawer. So this is our junk drawer. And here I have me some Dollar Tree uh, extra plastic silverware, just in case it's needed. These are kind of things that you can kind of grab and go for lunch or whatever. And a few of the things I had already shown y'all, I got me some new spice jars. I also got me some scoops. And I also got me new labels for everything. And now I do not have a Cricut. I'm going to invest in one, but we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a minute. So here I'm just showing you everything that I have been purchasing, including these, which are my new cereal containers. And I showed y'all all these things in a recent haul. So now we move on over. I bought these uh, glass jars. I got these at the Hobby Lobby. They were also a part of the spring collection. Now this was a couple of weeks ago and they're actually gone now. And I also got me some motion lights, y'all. And I really love these. Now I got mine from Home Depot, but you can also order them as you see here on Amazon. They're only a few cents cheaper. So whatever is most convenient for you, it was just more convenient for me to run to the Home Depot to pick mine up. But I am really enjoying these. Now these dispensers, I had these when I lived at my old house. I probably had them a year and a half and I never really used them. But here at my new house, they have come in handy my pantry is not a walk-in pantry anything like that so i am making the most of my space 
and these were perfect and you'll see in just a moment so here I'm just getting everything labeled and we are going to get on with the reveal <music> Now I have the motion sensor lights kind of stuck up on the underneath the top of the cabinets and they come on with when they sense the motion and they stay on for 10 seconds and then they'll go off. I really really love them. They've been doing a great job. As you see here I have everything labeled neatly and all and one thing I did want to tell y'all though is I do not recommend using. Now I love the clear labels that I ordered here from Amazon but what I don't like is they came with a chalk pen and everything is beautiful I hand wrote everything myself but if your hands are wet so you know you wash your hands a lot in the kitchen that chalk comes off so I have made the decision I'm going to invest in me a Cricut because I have plenty of things to label around here but I have my Lazy Susans and when we get down here to the bottom I have all of my cereal label now my husband and my son they are cereal lovers so we keep two to three boxes on hand all the time here in the back is where I put those dispensers and it works well for our rice collection my daughter loves to cook so we have lots of spices and she likes to use different rices all of this is very beneficial to me and my husband y'all most days i don't have to cook so i make sure she has everything she needs here at the bottom i have these four little bowls and i got these as a set of four at home goods and they were 6.99 they are perfect for what i need them to be here with these dispensers you just simply turn the handle and get your rice and it works perfectly then as we move on up here to the top you see i only used one motion light up here i you know i think i thought anything else might be a little excessive and not needed this works well for all of my kitchen stable staples my flour and all and i actually have room to grow in the back as i have a couple of empty containers and then one there containing our pastas so my kitchen organization is working out very well for everyone everything is easily found it's easy when you get ready to go to the grocery store you don't find yourself buying multiples so it is working out really well and now it took me about half of a day to get it done but i enjoy it myself and uh, i am so happy that this is all done And now we're going to look at the update that I made for my breakfast nook. I was here at the Hobby Lobby. That was a beautiful painting, the very first one, but then this one was more to my liking. It, I like the size of it. I needed something a little bit bigger for the space. And I just thought that these florals were beautiful and I wanted to bring some into my breakfast nook. Now it was $89.99 and you know the spring shop is 50% off so that was a pretty good deal but y'all i wanted it to be more neutral i don't want to be locked into any particular colors because i am the type i like to change out my accessories and that kind of thing too frequently to have to be locked into any particular color so i got me a handy dandy bottle of paint and this is my result all of the gold that you see in this painting was added by me it did not have any gold in it now pink is my favorite color so i did not choose to get rid of all of the pink but like i said i don't want to be held to pink i just made it be a little bit more, more neutral and i absolutely love it i am enjoying this piece of artwork here in my breakfast nook so much Friends of the Twins, as always, we want you to make the life that you live a life that you love because life is short. Now, Shonda and I have plenty of home projects to share with you all. We hope that you've enjoyed today's video and we will see you in the next one. <music>